see my hair clip. I had it a minute ago. Ah, uh, June, your dress. What about it? It's inside out. Oh, ha! Come on, snow coaches. We can't be late for class. Uh, has everyone got their science prep? Science oh. prep? Got it. Connie, here. Thanks, Ruth. Thanks, Susan. You sound like Mr. Parker. I'm just trying to keep you all organised. Come on, June. Don't let the slide down. Who put her in charge? Come on. Or oh, we really will be late. Your dress. Don't... Good morning, me Aries. Good morning, Mr. Mr. Parker. History. Today we're going to be talking about history. Local history. In fact, very local history. <laughs> Last night, I found myself thinking about the doubloon that was found in the fish and the Battle of Mallory Bay. There be buried treasure in these here parts. Are you feeling all right, Mr. Parker? Would I eye me all sea dogs? <laughs> um, yes, well, today we will be examining Sir Charles's role in the Battle of Mallory Bay when he fought the cruel captain. Your task is to write a short essay on the subject. There will be a prize awarded for the essay which employs the most thorough research. Understood. Aye, aye, Captain. Gar. This is perfect. We can use all of our research to find the treasure. It's about time we had our own adventure. <laughs> Please come to the library before afternoon class. We can all sit together. It will be fun. I will. Me too. I'm afraid you can't. I have an extra throwing practice with Alicia. There's lunch time. I need you to watch. You're so good at spotting where I can improve. Sorry, Susan. See you later, Ruth. Bye. Where are you meeting Alicia? I'm not. I just didn't want to go to the library. I don't understand. You're... You're so smart. For you, doing research and writing an essay, it's fun. When I sit in the library, I feel so stupid. I can't do it. Let me help you. Really? Yes, we'll do the research together and the essay will take care of itself. I promise. I'll be with you all the way. Since years gone past, since battle was won, no treasure was found by light of the sun. A ghostly captain haunts this prize, guarding his plunder from those still alive. Bet your teacher didn't tell you there was a ghost. A ghost? I told you Fred would have a good story about the captain. Yes, the locals say that whenever there's a full moon, the ghost of the cruel captain is seen, lantern in hand, wandering around the grounds of Mallory Towers. What do you think he's doing here? The clue is in the song. Guarding his plunder from those still alive. Do you think the cruel captain wants revenge for his untimely death? Maybe. Tumbling, tumbling, it's the full moon tonight. We should sneak out and look for him. Oh, let's. I think I might be scared, though. Nonsense. Dal and Alicia went on loads of midnight trips. They were never scared. True. Come on, we'll be late for class. Teddy received my letter four days ago. I haven't had a peep from him. I should write again. Quite absolutely not. Far too soon. 
Well, sometimes young men need a good boot up leather air. Right, where on earth did you get that phrase? I had Mamselle say it to Matron. I need someone to look after the first formers this evening. They've been skittish all week, and I think they would benefit from the sage presence of an older girl. Uh, well, it's just I have a lot of work to do. Yes. Are you head of the lower school or are you not head of the lower school? I am head of the lower school. Good. Then you can work while you keep watch. Lights out at 8.30. I'll be back by 10. Thank you. Pressures of leadership. I really wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. It's a full moon tonight. So tonight's the night. Really, Ruth? <laughs> Apparently there was an orangutan on board the ship. <laughs> an orangutan? I found the story in this old newspaper. The orangutan amused the pirates with her pranks. On one occasion, the orangutan climbed the ship's mast and painted the sails green. How <laughs> absolutely ripping. Ruth's a whiz at essays. Oh, I need to finish mine. I'm never going to get my essay done in time. Can I borrow this just to look through? If you copy it, Mr Parker will know. But I don't know where to start. We can't both write about the orangutan. Put your name on mine. I'll write a new one. Quick, before I change my mind. Thanks, Ruth. I don't know what I'd do without you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I owe you one. So, he's up for a ghost walk. We can't leave the dorm in the middle of the night. We'll go just after lights out. It'll just be a quick walk around the gardens, not a trek up to the North Pole. You're such a goody two shoes. to go to bed and work away now please Ruth if it's not done now it's too late Felicity June night clothes uh, uh, yes matron lights out at 8 30 Daryl will be checking in on you Daryl Daryl's coming that's torn it now we'll never be able to sneak out Whoa. I'm so sorry. Oh, that was a close call. Uh, who's the lucky dorm? Well, yours. How does your dorm like hot cocoa? We love it. How absolutely topping. What's that? Mr Parker's competition essay. I'm just dropping in his pigeonhole. Daryl. Yes? I'm so glad you're coming to our dorm tonight. I'm so <laughs> glad I'm coming too. All right, I'll hop to it then. The first mug will be for you. <laughs> Matron asked me to sit with you, so I brought Coco. I think I speak on everyone's behalf when I say we don't need a babysitter. Well, hello to you two, June Johns. It's embarrassing for everyone involved. I'm not embarrassed. Well, we are. Hmm. Coco. <laughs> I mean, hot cocoa is all very nice, but I'm sure you've got more important things to be getting on with. Well, Matron asked me to be here, so here I am. I think it could be fun. Thank you. Daryl's got some stories she could tell us. Mm. There's some really great ones. June, they're funny. What was the best prank you and Alicia have ever played? Oh, Ooh. what about the time you tried to bring a cow into class? A, a cow? cow? You tried to bring a some really great ones. June, they're funny. What was the best prank you and Alicia have ever played? Oh, Ooh. what about the time you tried to bring a cow into class? A, a cow? cow? You tried to bring a cow into class. 
You could have gone to so much trouble. Well, we thought it was a good idea at first, but we um, couldn't exactly get it to move. Move. <laughs> <laughs> Which is probably a good thing. I mean, could you imagine Matron's face? I do have some other adventures I could tell you about. All right, 10 minutes, and that is it. sneak out after all. There's time before Matron gets back. I don't know. If we don't go tonight, it'll be a whole month before we can go again. It has to be a full moon, remember? If we're caught, Daryl will get into so much trouble. What do you think? There's no harm in a quick walk around the gardens. Daryl talked so much about having fun earlier. It'll be an adventure. If Susan's in, then I'm in. But half an hour tops. Let me come back. Rue, it's our first nighttime adventure. You can't miss it. I need to finish my essay. Go, I don't mind. I prefer it in here in the quiet. If you're sure. I've got my shoes. What are you doing? I'm just reading over it. I thought you said you'd finish your essay. I wasn't happy with my conclusion. I saw you give something to Connie earlier. You're writing another essay, aren't you? You don't know what it's like to have a twin. Connie's struggling with her work. So you did give her your essay? That's sort of cheating, isn't it? I helped her. That's all. I help Connie and she helps me. It's what we do. <laughs> Susan, where are the others? It's too risky to go out front. Uh, maybe we could go out the back? That's near teacher's quarters. There has to be a way out. Changing rooms. Yes. <laughs> OK. Go on. Jim Jones. We were just Get going. back upstairs now. We made sure. All right, hide, hide. Now, stop her. How? What? <sighs> ah, what are you doing out of bed? I couldn't sleep, and I didn't want to disturb the others. Yes, back to your dormitory now, please. Well, uh, what is it? I was wondering if you had any suggestions about how to get to sleep. 
Yes, I suggest that you get into bed and I suggest that you close your eyes. Now! I found this one wandering. Uh, yes, yes, I thought some, some fresh air might do her good, help her sleep. How were they? All tucked up by nine. Glad to hear it. Well, good night then, Dara. Good night, matron. Right, a prank is one thing, but sneaking off in the middle of the night when I'm supposed to be looking after you. Right, whose idea was that? Not mine. All right, it was mine. But see the way you covered? All tucked up by nine, matron. June, I shouldn't need to cover. You won't do it again. I'm sorry. But if you do, we'll make sure not to get caught. Sleep tight, everyone. Good night, Daryl. You're the best. Ruth, finish your work in the morning. I read some marvellous essays this morning. Some would have benefited from some more research. One was more fantasy than fact, an aspiring Daphne de Maurier, Miss Rivers. Ruth, not quite up to your usual standard. Now, the essays from Connie and Susan are both to be highly commended, but there can only be one winner. The prize for best essay goes to... Connie. Splendid research, Connie. The most fabulous story about a wayward orangutan. Bravo. So, what did you win? A box of homemade shortbread. I'm to save them for the weekend, apparently. Oh. So, who wants one? <laughs> you need to tell Mr. Parker. Tell Mr. Parker what? You know what? Ruth, come and have the biscuit. You too, Susan. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Susan? Connie, you cheated. Someone is a bad loser. I'm not. The orangutan? That was in Ruth's essay. Not yours, Connie. Ruth showed me the newspaper. It's not true. Connie wrote that essay. We found the article about the orangutan together. Connie, congratulations. I'm proud of you. Come in. Susan. What's wrong? I don't want to get anyone into trouble, and I'm really not a bad loser, but... But? Uh, right, come in, sit down. If you wrote a really good essay, but you let me tell a teacher I wrote it, would that be cheating? Has Felicity been doing June's homework for her? No, June's a prankster, but she's not a cheat. It was. I won't tell anyone. It, it was Ruth and Connie. Does this mean I'm a tattletale? No, 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 it doesn't. Um, if this happened in my class, I would think it was truly unjust. That's exactly it, but Ruth doesn't seem to mind. 
Well, have you talked to her? I tried. Well, cheating is a very serious business. Can you think of a reason why? Well, Connie needs help with her work. I suppose it's hard for Ruth to watch her struggle. But giving Connie her essay isn't the answer, is it? No. I should try to talk to her again. Maybe both of them together. Uh, well, would you like me to help you talk to them? No, I need to handle this one on my own. Thanks, Sarah. <sighs> I'm not going to tell Mr. Parker. But it was cheating. Why did you do it? We didn't. Connie. I love it here. And Connie does too. She loves the lacrosse and the pranks. But... I'm finding it hard to keep up. There. Are you happy? You can ask for help. I don't need help. I'm not stupid. Asking for help doesn't make you stupid. It makes you smart. And it's not fair if Ruth has to do your work and hers. I have no idea what it's like to be a twin, but you're such different people. Ruth, you're fabulous at essay writing, but she can't catch a lacrosse ball for toffee. Whereas you, you're a whiz on the lacrosse pitch. In fact, I just bumped into Alicia in the corridor and she asked me to tell you that you made the team for the next match. <laughs> oh, Connie, that's brilliant. Well done, Connie. So please, promise me you won't cheat again. We promise. Don't we, Connie? We promise. Of course, Daryl. How are you getting on? I'm very well, thank you. Um, I'm getting on top of my work, but I think I need to delegate some more. The first need a head of form whom we can both trust and who I can communicate with. Hmm. Have you got someone in mind? Yes. <laughs> So, I have to make a decision about your head of form, but I need your help. So, what qualities do you think a head of form needs? Um, it needs to be someone sensible. <laughs> someone who will pull you up if you've done something wrong. But someone who enjoys a good joke with their friends. It needs to be someone who's not afraid to make unpopular decisions and to confront a tricky situation. But, most importantly, it needs to be someone kind. And do you think there's someone here with all of those qualities? Susan. Susan would make a great head of form. Is that something you'd consider, Susan? I had the school certs this year and I could really use your help. What if I wanted to put myself forward? All Felicity. Uh, do you? <laughs> Absolutely not. Felicity? I think one river's in charge is enough, thank you. <laughs> I think Susan is the perfect choice. Are you in? I'm in. Splendid. Three cheers for Susan. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip, hip.